Hey there, Samidian here, and welcome back to Terror Restore. Last time, we started the map, got some stuff, got quite a bit of good stuff, considering, uh, where we are in the grand scheme of things. Very beginning of the map, already got a lot of equipment, got armor, got a good source of food, I'm happy. Game shouldn't start you off with literally nothing. Kinda sucks when that happens. So I'm going to go ahead, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Your client is outdated and, whoops. Come on. I'm sorry I closed the game out, I'm bad. Okay, so what I want to do is first of all, where's the exit to this river, or not exit, the source of this river? Because I want to follow the waterfall of it up, if there even is a waterfall of it. And I shouldn't have to worry about sprinting, because I have so much food. What? I, oh yeah, what I wanted to do. Uh, change my render distance down to like... 12-ish. Because it doesn't need to be 16. Yeah! Haha! -ha. I didn't look in here before. It gives me more food. Sweet. Love me some food. And I don't think I'm going to need to farm trees anytime soon. The music isn't starting. That makes me sad. I like the music. Music, start please. How do I make the music start? Can I force it to start by going here? No. Darn. Oh well. The music will start eventually, I hope. Because it's good music, man. Uh, I should probably sleep the night away, so no monsters come to kill me. Get, get, get in the door! Bad you have to be to not be able to get into a freaking door. Jeez. Everything's so quiet without the music. And I checked the audio from my last video. I can turn the music up a tiny bit. It's not overpowering or anything. Alright. I want to go up to the source of this waterfall before I do anything else. And that one too. Waterfalls are nature's way of saying there's a secret to be found. What's up here? Ooh. This waterfall looks like it might not have a secret in it. Nope, no secret in this waterfall. Is there anything around it? Hmm, doesn't look like it. This waterfall is just here for the sake of being a waterfall, it seems. Well, let's go down it. Maybe there's something on the way down. Nope. Ink sacks from a squid corpse, apparently. Hello. That I haven't been to. Oh, there's the music. Took it a while for it to realize that it needed to go. More ink. I'll keep that in case I want to dye something later. chest over here. Ooh, some chain legs. Go ahead and put those on. For those curious, chain armor is, I believe, the exact same as gold when it comes to the amount of protection it gives you, but it has slightly better durability. Anything down here? I want to go up there, but I don't think swimming up the waterfall is the best way to go at it. So let's tackle it from above. I 
This music's really good, I love it. 10 out of 10, mate. Or 8 out of 8, mate. Okay, is there like an actual way to get into it? It looks like... yeah. It looks like this is the way you're supposed to go down into it. I don't think I need the fortune on this axe for anything important. Collect the furnaces because I don't have any cobble yet. You never know, I might want to set up a massive furnace array to cook all my goodies. More stuff. Pretty useful stuff. Okay, and last time I went up this. Uh, gravel pathway. I want to go up that waterfall. And I think the best way to do that would be to go up this gravel pathway again, so... Let's backtrack up here. This music's so good for, like, general exploration purposes. The ME4 music wasn't that good, honestly. Like, all of it was, um... Or not, maybe not all of it, but most of it was, like, kind of glitchy versions of mine, normal Minecraft songs. And it was kind of a eh thing to listen to. Looks like there's... What are those? Are those all powered rails? Down there. So it looks like there's a rail line. Probably a way to backtrack if I had to guess. So this map is designed for to have like scaling difficulty based on how many people are playing. Up to I think it said up to two players, so if you have two players, some of the stuff gets more difficult. At least from what I read in the uh, page curse page for this map, which is pretty cool. So some of the stuff should be easier for me than it is for uh, multiplayer people. Let's go down. I could come up from this direction, but I think I would rather go in the front door. Just because it seems like the way the map maker wants me to go. And so far this map's been pretty easy. I like how I can tab and see my hearts. That's completely useful for single player. <laughs> really useful for single player. Alright, across the thing we go. Hello, cow. I'm not going to murder you for your flesh. That would be rude. Wanna make sure spawns have stopped. Oh, well, that leads to the top, so spawns have definitely stopped. Smite one swords. It's good. I think a smite one stone is better than a smite two golden for fighting zombies. In fact, I should keep all of my weapons in my first three slots. For easy access. Ooh, flame bell. I don't think I'm going to need this uh, rock. Like, the knockback's good and everything, but I don't think it's worth, uh... Okay. I regret not coming in this room first. Oh no, it blew up the chest. I 
stuff's good too. Did I like get an extra chest? No. Let's make a uh, chest real quick. Did I not just make a workbench? Come back for the stuff later. That's good, I think. Hope I completely fucked up the aesthetic of this place. Whoops. Set spawn point. Sure. Why not? Intersection zero. Alright. Railway station is that way. Upper Valley of Beginnings is that way. And Lower Valley of Beginnings is this way. Okay. If there's anything down there, possibly. Let's go this way first, I guess. Hey, another waterfall with a cave in it that I want to go to. Ah, uh, it doesn't look like there's anything in this one, but I may have missed it. It went down pretty fast. Come on, climb up the frickin' waterfall. So I'm pretty decked out. I'm not used to being this decked out this early in a CTM map, but I don't, I'm not going to complain. Like I said, you should be able to get some decent amount of stuff early on. If you want your endgame stuff to require like iron gear and shit like that, that's fine. But early game stuff should be easy. And it does look like there's nothing in here, unfortunately. But fortunately, it appears that this ladder is a quick way up to where I was just headed, I think. It's getting kind of dark, which means stuff is going to start spawning on the outer parts. Okay, there's a chest down there. Easy way to get at that chest. Oh, didn't mean to fall down, but I'm here now, I guess. And it looks like this place is the source of more coal. Which I will go ahead and gather. Wait, I have the fortune. Fortune peck. Don't forget the fortune peck. Gotta get all that extra coal, man. It's not like it's a renewable resource. You can't just smelt up coal from wood. That would just be silly. Okay, this pick isn't lasting nearly as long as I assumed it would. Ow. This axe does not last very long. Gold tools in general don't last very long in case you are not aware of that mechanic with an iron ingot. In case you are unaware. Man, stone tools mine so slowly. But I wouldn't give her an iron pick.
what I wouldn't give for my frickin' god tier pick from ME4. That thing was a beast. So, fun fact, you should probably make sure areas are safe before you begin stripping them of the materials. Just a general CTM strategy that I am not following because I'm bad. Oh, hello. I think there was a spawner up there that I would like to get at. Okay, here's the uh, railway. So I think all of these areas are interconnected, it looks like. So let's head up. Stop some of these things from spawning. What do we have in here? Some stuff, huh? I don't have a shovel right now. I'll take this. And come back for the rest of the stuff later. I don't really need it right now. How's my armor doing? Pretty good. Even the gold crap is doing pretty good. So it looks like a lot of the stuff here is coal. There is certainly a lot of it. I don't know if I even need to mine all this, to be honest. But I'm going to. It's here. It's for me. All the coal! Om nom nom coal. Coal is so tasty, man. It's like the perfect thing to eat in the morning. Okay, I've got over two stacks of coal right now. I'll come back for the rest of it later. Like, I'll make the area safe. And then later, probably off camera, I can come back and grab the rest of it. Hi. Backup protection chest. Oh, hello. Okay. This right here is why I didn't want to come do anything at night. Are these creepers getting spawned? Is there like a creeper spawner in there somewhere? So this is a TNT delivery device of some sort. Looks pretty cool. Hey, right, blocks of coal. Those I will take. Because for about the same amount of time it would take to mine an ore, I instead get nine coal. These creepers are uh, kind of annoying. Sake. 
sake. I got a bow. Use the bow. It's a good bow, too. It's a flame bow. Hey. It's rude, man. It's attacking someone else. Ah, where did you come from? I think these chain legs are better than... I just blew up a chest. Are better than the protection... There's a chest here, right? Oh no, there was a spawner there. So it's fine that he blew up the spawner. Lapis, huh? Aw, oh, it's not fine that he blew up the lapis. I need this for enchanting. Grab ourselves the lapis. Looks like this room is a zombie room instead of a creeper room. That's good. I'm sick of dealing with the creepers, man. Oh, come on, man. Why you gotta be so rude? Anything up here? Nope. Alright, the sun's rising, just in time for me to have almost finished the outside parts of this area. Good timing on my part. Hey. Why you no burn? Sharpness axe. Ooh, an anvil. Feather falling and projectile protection two. I think I would rather have that than protection one. So yeah, I'll probably come back and grab all this stuff off camera at some point. Anything up here? No. Let's make some more uh, planks. Okay, I like the song, but it's kind of getting a tiny bit repetitive at this point. Uh, I'll keep it on though. It gives it a good little uh, ambiance. up here? I expected there to be something up here. Con Aha! Considering there was a uh, a vine path here. Alright. Let's go in. Let's conquer this place. This is my house. Okay, this place seems significantly more difficult than the rest of this area. Wish I had some kind of Bane of Arthropods weapon. But I'll live. I'll need to use the anvils to repair this armor. It's pretty good armor. The axe I don't really care about. The axe is kind of crappy. I can let it break with 
There's no worries. Up or down, up or down. There is no way down. Up. It is then. <laughs> See, that's tricky little uh, map making things right there. You can't place a torch in front of the door because of the uh, carpet. It's subtle, but relatively effective. space over. Actually, never mind. I want the smite sword on my bar. Hello. Glad I put the smite sword on my bar. These guys are fast. And they spawn fire. Where they walk, that's that's nice. It's totally fair. No, this is not a boss. You will know when you see one. All right. According to uh, the map's little synopsis, there are five bosses. They're supposed to be pretty special, pretty cool, pretty unique. Got the wool. Nice. Take a couple of them with me. And let's go... Dump some of our crap in this chest because our inventory is filled with crap. Essence of Sunshine. Fortune 1. Rays of sunlight emanate from this. I think this is supposed to be like currency for the, in the map. So I'm going to keep that. go back to exploring the rest of this place. I think at this point I've pretty much explored all of the upper Valley of Beginnings. Hello. I want your Ender Pearl. Thank you! Your donation to my cause has been appreciated, good sir. Ender pearls are pretty nifty, useful things sometimes. So yeah, I think I've explored all of the upper valley. The lower valley was this place with the coal down here. I'm not sure if I've finished exploring all of this. 
Am I going to get three wolves? It seems unlikely. Okay, and it looks like this place is specifically designed to get you coal. Which I don't mind. I will come back to get most of this coal off camera. There's no reason for me to worry too much about getting it all now. Hello. I well, guess I'm getting some now. I did that on purpose. It's a fast and effective, if not very uh, cost-effective method of acquiring coal. Yeah. Bet you didn't think I was that smart, huh? See, this is what I mean about the carpet. You go to place a torch on the ground and suddenly, nope. TNT and redstone, no thanks. Oh nice, a fortune efficiency pick. And some splash potions. I'll keep, uh... The only thing I can get from a fortune stone pick is coal. I think. Yeah, what else is fortune used on? Redstone, which requires iron. Lap... Oh no, you can get more lapis with it too. So what do I care about more? Lapis or... Coal? Probably lapis, to be honest, so maybe I should save this, uh... Fortune pick for, the lap for lapis instead of the, uh... Coal. Hmm. Choices. Tough ones. I thought I cleared this area. Okay, so I didn't actually follow this path because I came up the the ladder. So let's see what we've got over here. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Get the rotten flesh! I need it. I might want to use it one day, eventually, maybe, probably not. So that's those two areas, and the last area is the railway? Is that what it was called? Railway station, yeah. Any fat loots? I climbed that waterfall, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. I don't see any fat loots around here. Railway station. Cart launcher. Oh, this is nice. So if I had to take a wild guess, I'd say that the next area is that way. And he said ender chests are allowed. And recommended, blah blah blah. Um, yeah, this thing's cool, I like it. I don't need these. So I'll put two more chest mine carts. And I can just load up all my crap send it off to the next area. Alright, I like this. Uh, should we go check out the next area first? Before I end the video? How long have I been recording? Uh, oh, 35 minutes. That's actually about time to wrap the episode up, I'd say. So what I'm going to do is, off camera, I'm going to get pretty much everything I would care to take with me, put them in these minecart chests, and get ready to go to the next area, which I'm running under the assumption is that way. So yeah. So yeah. See you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, before I end the episode, I found a chest over here. It had a blast protection two legs and a flame one bow over down here by the, uh, by the ladder that I apparently missed the first time. Whoops. Alright, back to the episode being over. Bye!
Last time, I promise, in one of the pockets of coal, there was a stack of coal. That's literally it. Episode's actually over this time, I think. Goodbye.